another typical hypocritical unquestioned mantra out of the modern day feminist playbook. Hey everyone, welcome to Girl on Girl. Girl. On Girl. Being girl. Girls. <laughs> the show in my bedroom with two girls, one topic, where we try and talk about the things that really matter to us that we may not get the chance to talk about or we really want to talk about but we don't know how. Today's topic is can words be reclaimed and can they be reclaimed successfully? And my lovely guest today is author Juno Dawson. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, so you're an author as well as like an educator. I yep, think. I used to be a teacher. I did like seven years in teaching mm -hmm. and then been for off to be a full-time <laughs> author and so I've been an author now for about five years. So Juno, what's your like gut instinct on that? Can they? I think some can under certain circumstances. Yeah, classic humanities answer. It <laughs> <Yeah>. depends. <laughs> More research is needed. <laughs> Are there any words out there that you would just never say? Absolutely never. The top of the never ever ever say it for me is the n-word when we're talking about reclaiming a word can only be reclaimed by the people who've previously been oppressed by it mm -hmm. so again surprise oh yeah let's define I'm what it means to yeah. reclaim a <laughs> yeah. word so, so to reclaim a word so it's a, pre a previous word of oppression that is then claimed by the oppressed people for use and I think it, yeah, it's about I taking guess. the power yeah. away from the oppressor by diminishing what the word means or what yeah. it means to them um, again, big surprise, I am white. Um, this isn't just foundation, although it's quite a lot of foundation. Um, and so I was never oppressed using that word, so it's not mine to reclaim. I feel like it's one of the most successfully reclaimed words, but racists still use still it. Still use it. I don't know if I've ever heard it in real life. Like, I've seen it on TV. I don't know if I've ever heard a white person use that as an insult. Yeah, that would be shocking, I think. I don't think like I've ever Like, if somebody said that, I don't know what I would do. I, I mean, would you just walk out? I have no idea. I mean, the words, again, that have personally affected me and that I personally find the ones that do sort of get me between the ribs, mm -hmm. that feel like weapons, are uh, right now is tranny. And I'm sorry for saying that. Again, maybe we should yeah. flash that word. Like, the T word. The T Let's word. call it the T word, because that's a word I would yeah, never say. Yeah. And also faggot to describe, because we can't say the F word, because that'll confuse people, the word faggot to describe my previous incarnation as a gay man. Yeah. Both of those words were really horrible and I felt every time it was like an attack. So this is the wonderful alignment system and we have a bunch of slurs and endearments that are used to describe women and then you can place them on this board if you think they're good, evil, lawful, neutral. There's no right or wrong answers, it's all about how you personally feel about these words. The internet will come for me. Yes. It will be red for Phil. <laughs> First up is honey. I'll go with neutral good for now. We can always yeah. shift that one later. Bitch. 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 No, I don't know how I feel about that because it is a word that's only ever used against women. Because it's so all over the place, I'm gonna go for chaotic evil chaotic for now. Evil. Can, I, can I give that one to yeah. you? Sweetie. 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 It could be used in a patronizing way. Is oh it my... worse or better than honey? I think it's on a par with yeah. honey. I don't know, maybe there. True neutral. Let's, Let's see, again, we'll move around yeah. see if something worse comes up. <laughs> bird. Oh bird. my god, bird awful. Maybe it can go there for neutral now. Neutral evil. Neutral evil. <laughs> So ring the alarm, sound the alarm. Can't. I know this is, I still think, I think in fact it's been written about a lot, this is the only word. It was Suzanne Moore who wrote this is the only word in the English language which genuinely still causes offence, I think. There have been a lot of attempts to reclaim this word. Mm -hmm. It is, I believe, the only word which describes all of a woman's genitalia, but it does offend so many people. Yeah, but I think you can use cunt as an insult for men and women, you know? Absolutely, yeah. So maybe it's an equal opportunity spare word. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in chaotic good. Chaotic good. Actually. And um, this one is baby. Baby. I'm going to go for the, this one, the lawfully neutral. Lawful. Spinster. Spinster. <laughs> Let's go for chaotic neutral. Chaotic. There, there's a nice space over there, but I think we're gonna have to start doing some. I've got a horrible feeling we have to start doing some moving around. Ooh. Oh, because would you look at that? Pussy. We have pussy. It's cringe, isn't it? Mm. It is cringe. Does anybody use it outside of porn? And oh god, I, I see now. This is not gonna end well, is it? Oh god, it's slow. Oh, we can't <laughs> slow being a lawful good, can we? It's difficult, isn't it? Because it's still a word that's not really used against men. Its origin mm. was in a slovenly or untidy woman. Yeah. I think it was in Chaucer, like back in the day. <laughs> you know, why do we need a special word for a sexually promiscuous woman? Other than just woman. I think we're in the process of reclaiming the word, but it's certainly not lawful good. Chaotic, can we move bitch to maybe neutral? Mm -hmm. 
because I think I would yes. much rather be like, bitch, please, why are you yeah. wearing that pleather skirt on a YouTube video? Rather than, than you look like, like a slut. slut. In that. So let's put slut down with chaotic evil. That's you my... happy with it? I suspect it will be cunt that upsets people, but I think the rest I can make peace with. I can sleep soundly tonight <laughs> with my choices. It's going to be interesting to see what you think, because mm -hmm. there will be a lot of people out there who think that as a trans woman, so I was born natally male, surprise, um, <laughs> there will be people who think that I have no business ever using the word cunt and no business ever using the word bitch. What's interesting about that game is that whichever woman, whoever you would have had up here, we would have had different views on those words. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's why conversations around reclaiming vocabulary is so hard, because mm -hmm. it's always going to be incredibly personal. Do you think we're spending like too much time policing the words that people say online mm -hmm. I sometimes think we have you know and I've been so guilty of this of sort of being armchair armchair PC police mm -hmm. kind of when actually turn your computer off go out there and do something kind of if you know you're not going to make a difference shouting people down mm. necessarily on Twitter or Facebook I don't know if that's massively helpful yeah <laughs> Juno, would you like to have some troll tea? Dina, I would. <clears throat> Mr. Oasis says, all your videos are about sex, so you must be a sex expert or a slut. Guess what, Mr. Oasis? I'm both. <laughs> Very good. Mmm, mm. so light. This anonymous Twitter user says, Why should little girls be scared of men in the women's toilets? Well, because trans women aren't men. But details. <laughs> Stir that one in. Mm. In it goes. In it goes. Jesus Bastard says, and in all caps, The only sex aid I need is my pet dog wearing a Hannah Witten mask. That's revolting. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's quite a bitter taste. Oh, hard to swallow. But it's strong and I feel like it's giving me strength, you know. Oddly powerful. Oh. Do those kind of comments get to you ever? Or have you like built up a wall? Oh, I think from real life, going around dressed like this, you have to build up a very mm. thick skin. And I have built up a very thick skin. And I would say the reason that I don't quit Twitter or quit Facebook is because the vast majority of comments are nice. Yeah. You know, most people totally get it. The odd few that are done, I feel sorry for them. I feel sad that they think that way and yeah. that their lives must be very small if they only hang out with white, straight, cisgender people. And I also feel sad that when they could be watching Bake Off, they're actually online sending out horrible comments. And like, Bake get Off a, is get lovely. A hobby. Yeah. yeah. I think with the whole conversation and debate around political correctness and the words that we use isn't enough. And actually now we need to start having conversations about emotional correctness, which is kind of what you touched on when we were playing the alignment system, which is intent. Mm. So you can use any of the words, maybe barring a few, but it's about your intent with them and actually about then listening if someone takes offence, not thinking that's an attack on you for using that word. Like, that person just has a problem with that word, so don't use that word around that it's person. It's about kindness. Someone yeah. else might be totally fine with you using that word around them. We have to be able to make mistakes. We have yeah. to be able to make mistakes in real life. We have to be able to make mistakes online. And if we apologise, it's human to forgive. We have real targets in sight. We have people who would actively take our liberties and rights away. And there is a possibility that Donald Trump will be the president. That's terrifying. He wants really... to build a wall around America. You know, mm. we have real problems, you know, and actually infighting amongst feminists is the one thing that makes angels cry more than anything else. Mm. Even the name of the show, Girl on Girl, um, ha there has been some controversy, um, but, how do you feel about the name of the show? I think it's really sad that anyone would think the word girl on girl is trapped forever in Pornville. Yeah. When actually, A, who says porn gets to keep the word girl? I really don't think it does. Mm. And what's the point? That's like suggesting there's something inherently titivating about lesbian relationships anyway, mm -hmm. which is actually, that's just, again, if you think that, that that's Also, we're sad. playing the game. Anyone that's searching girl on girl, 
of course, and wants a yeah. bit of lesbian porn action, Holla. they'll actually find this. Disappointed and... <laughs> for you. <laughs> and we'll be like, hit you with some feminism. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let us know how you feel about reclaimed words. Are there any words that you would never say? Are there some that you feel like you have successfully reclaimed? You can let us know in the comments or anywhere on social media using the hashtag girl on girl show. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our tiny letter, which is tinyletter.com forward slash girl on girl, where you can find out more about the show and more about Juno. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.